I think embracing your new creation is a daily process. And the mm. climax of that process, if you will, is baptism is where your past self and your future self intersect in the present and you embrace that new creation. So if you're asking me, so I'm going to break down the question. If you're asking yeah. me, does someone need to be uh, baptized in order to get into heaven? I would say we're, we're arguing over the fundamental over a very fundamental question. We're arguing over it. But if you're asking me, does someone need to be baptized? to fully embrace who they are in Christ as a new creation to bring healing in the kingdom of God to this earth? Absolutely. 100%. Yes. So in our baptism book, I, I write it this way that I had is, is imagine you have a lamp. Okay. If I had a lamp in my house and I pointed at this lamp, you would know the purpose of that lamp is you would know that that purpose is to illuminate a room, but unless right. that lamp is plugged in, the only function it has is to take up space baptism is what I believe is what is that engaging that plug in, if you would, to power for it to serve the purpose of its design. So I look at baptism as one of those things where it is really the, the, the climax of your new creation self, which Paul writes all over every epistles. So that's what we're trying to put off your old self, put off your old man, murder it and put on your new man. That is the, the embracing, if you will, uh, of baptism, I think in the role of salvation, then I think salvation mm. is justified and it's, you know, wrestled with as you live your life. But um, I think we underestimate the power and the value we have to bringing healing to the world. If, if that right. makes sense. So, 